Hey guys, welcome back. I am Selena from Digital Design. In this video, I will show you how to add a new product in the WordPress website. Okay, let's get started. In the first step, you need to install a plugin called WooCommerce. This is the plugin which helps us to convert your blog site into an e-commerce website. Go to your WordPress admin panel. Navigate to plugin section. Click on add new. Now type WooCommerce in the search box. This is the plugin we needed. Click and install it. Once you install the plugin, you will find the WooCommerce section here. WooCommerce offers different product types such as simple group, virtual, downloadable, affiliate, and variable products. In addition with the help of plugins, you can create unique product types such as subscriptions, bookings, memberships, and etc. Let us focus on how to create a simple product on your WooCommerce store. Go to products here. Here you can import your products in bulk or you can add individually. I can go with individual adding. So click on add new. Now type the name of your product. Scroll down to the product data section. Choose your product type here. Here you will find various options such as simple product, grouped product, affiliate product, and then variable product. I am going with simple products. Note the box if your product is virtual. And also note the box if your product is downloadable files. Choose the regular price of your product. If needed you can also add the sale price. The sale price can be scheduled to be applied only during a specific time. Next move to the inventory section. Here you can add the SKU for your product. SKU is a unique identifier associated with the product. You can enable stock management by ticking the check box. When you enable stock management new fields will be displayed to specify stock information. It will specify how much stock is available for the product. Decide if you want to allow back orders on your store. Here you can also set a low stock threshold when the stock level reaches this value the store admin will get a notification to restock. Enable the next option. If you want to limit this product to only one per order in the shipping section. Next, we move to the shipping section. Where you can add the weight and dimensions of the product. This is important if you want to integrate services of external shipping carriers. You can also add the product to a particular shipping class. Here to know more about shipping classes check the article link in the description. In the linked products section you can specify products for upsells and cross sells. Attributes section is where you can add global attributes to products if you already have them in your store. Here you can also create custom product attributes that will be available specific to this product. You can find more information on product attributes with the link given in the description. In the advanced section, you can add a purchase note to customers which will help you leave any important information that the customer needs to know after buying the product. You can specify a custom ordering position for the product. In the next settings here you can also enable reviews for the product so that customers will be able to leave reviews. The next field is for short description. The text you enter here will be displayed on the shop page next to the product thumbnail. 
The next section is for images you can add the main product image as well as gallery images. The main image will be displayed in the product page as the featured image. Then gallery image is an image that will display after the main product image. Similarly, you can add tags as well. Finally, you can get to the publish panel here. An important aspect to consider is the catalog visibility. You can define where all to show this product. Choose as per your strategy. If everything is configured correctly, you can publish the product. Let's check our product is displayed in our website. Yes, here is our product. Your customers will be able to purchase it by clicking Add to Cart. Once the product is added to the cart, click on Proceed to Checkout. Here are your customer needs to fill in their details and proceed with payment. In upcoming videos, we will discuss how to integrate a payment gateway. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Digital Design. Finally, thank you for watching.